Okay, so today we are going to be making a smoothie. Um, I'm going to show you guys some different options, uh, what you can put into it, um, and still follow the MyPlate guidelines, get your protein and your fruit and your vegetable and all that stuff. Okay, so um, the first thing that you want to do is pick your liquid. So we have either almond milk or regular milk. Okay, so um, with almond milk, you're going to get, you actually get more calcium than you do with regular milk. Um, the one downside using almond milk is that it doesn't really have any protein while the regular milk does. Um, the cons for the regular milk would be that it has sugar in it. So if you want to stay away from sugar as much as possible, you don't want to use the regular milk, go to the almond milk. Um, the other good thing about almond milk is that it has healthy fats. So it has um, the polyunsaturated fat and the monounsaturated fat. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It might be kind of blurry, um, but that is, those are the nutrition facts for the almond milk, right? So it's only 30 calories per cup. And this is 2% milk. I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't see that very well, but you can see that it's 130 calories. So you're saving 100 calories by using almond milk. And it does have saturated fat in it. It also has carbohydrates because if you can see there's sugar in it, right? But there's also protein in it. So you kind of have to weigh, like what else are you going to be putting into this um, and think about that. So I'm going to be using almond milk. Um, the next thing that you need to figure out is what kind of fruit you want. So depending on the fruit that you choose, some of it's sweeter than others. Um, so you kind of just have to pick. I'm actually going to be using mango for this, but blueberries work well, strawberries, bananas, all of that. So I'm going to use about a cup of almond milk. And I'm going to use about half of a cup of mango. All right, so I have my frozen mango here. I like to use frozen fruit because it keeps it keeps the smoothie cold. Okay, now because I don't, I didn't have any protein in my almond milk, I need to get it from somewhere else. So we have a couple options with that. Um, you can use Greek yogurt because, whoops, that has a lot of um, protein in it. And this kind is from Sam's. It has 0% fat. So it's the fat-free Greek yogurt, and it's just plain. Um, so if you guys want to see, I can show you the nutrition facts on that. So for three-fourths of a cup, you're going to get 18 grams of protein. And notice that there is some sugar in it but it's not added sugar, and that's because it comes from cow milk. Um, your other option is protein powder, but remember if you use regular milk, um, cow's milk, then that has protein in it, you're pretty good there. Okay, so this is the kind, I also got this from Sam's. Um, it's whey isolate, which means that it's going to be low in fat, and um, if you just get regular protein powder, and it's not whey isolate, then it's going to have, you know, whatever kind of fat that it has in it. And this is also from cow's milk because it's whey powder, whey protein powder. Um, this one has zero added sugars. And one scoop of this has 25 grams of protein. So I'm going to be using this just because um, sometimes the Greek yogurt gives it a tang and it's not as sweet. And I'm making this for my daughter, so trying to make it good that she'll like it. Um, okay, so that's really all you need in there, but there's a couple of other things that you can add. We have ground flax seed, which also has a lot of healthy fats in it. Um, it does, for, for two tablespoons, it has five grams of fat, but they're all unsaturated fats, and it has omega-3 fatty acids, which your body needs. Um, typically they're found in fish and we don't eat enough fish usually in the United States. 
So this is something that you could add to boost your healthy fat intake. Um, the other thing that you could add are some oats. And this would just give you the whole grain part so that it would all be in one area. Um, if I don't add these, you should have some kind of whole grain with your smoothie. Like you could have, like I showed you guys with um, the My Plate video, you could have like wheat thins, you could have a piece of wheat toast. Um, so just figure out, you know, try to decide where you're going to get your whole grain from. And you don't even have to have it with your breakfast. It could be later as like your mid morning snack. You could have a piece of toast or some wheat thins. Um, the one thing I did forget in this was some vegetables. So I'm actually going to be adding some spinach into this. So I'm just going to add like a handful of spinach and you really can't taste it in the smoothie. So it's actually, it's not bad. I know people think it's disgusting, but you can't taste it. And if you have a good blender, it's going to grind it up enough that you can't see it. Um, and I might need to add more liquid to this, but we'll see. Okay, so I blended it up and I'm just gonna add a little bit of honey to make it a little bit sweeter because the mango, I tried some the other day, it was not very sweet. So it is gonna give you a nice boost of vitamin C and um, you know, what you can get from mango, but not a whole lot of sweetness. So I'm adding about half a tablespoon of honey in there, and then I'm going to put it back on the blender. We're going to mix it up. So another healthy breakfast you could have would be some pancakes, right? So I actually have some pancake mix to show you guys that I also got from Sam's. Um, it's actually really healthy. All right, so the smoothie is all mixed up. It's a beautiful green color. I'm going to be pouring it into a glass. And then I'm gonna to talk to you guys about this um, pancake mix that I have here. See, no green chunks. Show you guys that. That's what that looks like. Um, so the protein pancake mix, is actually really good and you can't even taste that it's healthy. Um, if you guys look, you can see that it's 100% whole grain flour and then it has 15 grams of protein per serving. So that is plenty per uh, meal. Um, so with this, you would get your whole grain, you would get your protein, and then you would need some fruit, some vegetables, and um, some dairy. You could just have a glass of milk, or you could have some cottage cheese with your protein pancakes, um, and then maybe just like a side of fruit, and then later on, you could have your vegetables. So you could top these with strawberries. That would be really good, or blueberries. Um, and then, like I said, just remember that your vegetables or whatever you're missing out of your meal can come later as a snack. So you don't have to eat vegetables with breakfast. I know that's kind of hard to stomach for some people, but hopefully you guys got some good ideas for breakfast, some really easy ways to get your, um, to fulfill your My Plate guidelines in a healthy way, all right? So good luck. Um, make sure you guys turn this in when you're done and answer all the questions.